See this ring? You take this to the doghouse, and when Casper's trained, bring it back. Denise has had it. No, don't you dare. He peed on the bedspread. Finnegan pees everywhere in the house. Pour out me. Dog. Easy. Hey. Hey. He bit my son in the calf. How many times has he bitten people? A dozen, dozen and a half. A dozen times? Forget about the dogs. I don't even want you living here. You're like dealing with a child. I want the dogs to be gone or trained. What do you mean so gone? You mean, you mean I should put them down? I think it's the only alternative to save us. There's no way that's happening. I'm not going to be able to live with myself. You're going to live with yourself when we break up? If I can't help the family get these dogs sorted out, they will split up. Kiss me goodbye. Because I'm done. Yeah, kiss your ass. Casper! Sit down! Casper, no! My name is Denise Finnegan. You just ruined the whole day, Ma. I have a dog named Colby. This is a good girl. You want to go out? You want to go out? And my fiance, Mark Becker. Are you ever freaking happy? You should know better. Has two dogs, ah, Casper yeah. and Finnegan. Denise and I were high school sweethearts. We broke up, and 30 years later, we're back together again. I thought it was going to be wonderful, but it turned out very quickly to be a horrible situation. It's going to be fine. But I'm annoyed. Sit. Casper, sit. Casper, sit down. Casper was always running around crazy, very hyper. Casper attacked Colby. Get down. Go away. Mark, get the dog. Finnegan pees everywhere in the house. He peed on the bedspread. I can't believe it. I've had it. I'm done. <laughs> Casper is just, he's getting worse by the day. Get out. He grabs me. I have three cats, and Casper runs after them and barks, and the cats get scared out of their minds. They bounce off the walls trying to escape. It's just awful. I definitely do not want to live with this dog ever, and because he's so attached to Mark, it would be in Casper's best interest to be put to sleep. I'm madly in love with Mark. I want to spend the rest of my life with him, and I can't, so I'm angry all the time. Growl at me. Dog. Stay. Stay. I feel as though Denise could put up with it a little bit more than she does. I don't care. I'm angry now. I don't even want to see you. Because the dogs were just unbearable. I had to move out. We're going to be done. See this ring? You take this to the doghouse, and when Casper's trained, bring it back. I would like to say to Mark, it's me or the dog, but I'm afraid of what he would choose. So you want me to go? Well, I don't want you here with your dogs. They're my buddies. But Denise is the love of my life. But why can't I have both? Denise, I walk out this door, I'm not coming back. It's depressing and frustrating. Two people who just love each other so much. Kiss me goodbye, because I'm done. Yeah, kiss your ass. And yet, we're at a point now where it's make or break. Goodbye. If he doesn't get rid of the dog, we just simply cannot be together. And something has definitely got to give. finally got there, I actually couldn't believe she was standing in my living room. Man, we are really, we're getting close to resolving this issue. Oh, Come on, look Finnegan. At this. Finnegan. That's Finnegan, yeah. You look kind of old, Finnegan. He's 10. And the other one? That's Casper. How, how old is he? He's nine. Nine? Yes. Oh, what's the problem? He has kept Denise and I apart. What do you mean? These dogs have caused so much problems where I've had to get an apartment just to keep these guys. So this is not your home? Uh, yes, this is where... This oh, so is... this is where you live? But yes. Denise doesn't live here. Oh, really? Really? Oh, I thought I was going to meet Denise and Mark. And then I found out that this was Mark's apartment. So where was Denise? She lives in Long Island, and that's where I lived until she made me leave <gasps> to get a place for these guys. This is my $1,500 a month doghouse. No. There are a lot of homes I go to where the couples are going to be separated because of their dogs, but 
I've never been to a place where the couple is actually living separately because of the dogs. We're close to going our separate ways because of these guys. Wow. She's my fiance. I, oh, she's your, oh, you're engaged? I, I proposed her three years ago. Three years? So this is why we're not, and you're we're not, not married. Oh my gosh, you're not married because of the dogs? Mm-hmm. It's just such a tough situation that we're in. I mean, I love her with all my heart. And now we're this close to being married and we can't because of my dogs. I love them so much, but they've caused me so much grief. Seriously, Finnegan? Finnegan has issues when it comes to peeing on things. Oh, he's a marker. Are you oh, a marker, yes. Finnegan? Don't yeah. you give me that look. Mm -hmm. Casper's the main problem, absolutely, yes. When right. people come and go into the house, he bites at people's legs, especially when you go to leave. Right. And he, um, he attacks. Denise has a husky that okay. he's attacked her several times. Violently? Yes. Yes. Whoa. Casper is nine years old. And for a dog that's had a lifetime of reactivity, very, very difficult to change that. They're a handful. They are, okay. Yeah. Well, look, I'll see what I can do. If we could go there now. Let's do it. Okay. Hi, Betty. Hey. How are you? Hi. I want to see the dog's issues and train the dogs where they're supposed to be, not in the apartment, but in Denise's house. Oh, my goodness, and who's that? This is Colby. <gasps> Colby, you circle, don't you? Do you circle? Yeah, she's nervous. I'm hoping that Victoria really senses the seriousness of the issue because Mark has to pay rent to keep those dogs away from me. Tell me what annoys you about the dog's behavior. Casper's anxiety, his level of energy, the fact that Mark doesn't control it. I do try to control it, but, you know, it's just... Mark, every time enough. you walk out of the room, the dog's in the chair. Then knock them down, Denise. I don't I want don't to deal to... with being growled at. You're in my house. Keep your dog off my furniture. What else? He bit my son in the calf, which is one of the main reasons I asked him to leave. So he's very crazy. He loses his mind when people come and go. How many times has he bitten people? A dozen, dozen and a half. A dozen times? Casper has bitten people 12 times. And the fact that Mark hasn't addressed this problem at all is unacceptable. Someone is going to get hurt. Mark is going to get sued. I don't think he takes his dog's behavior seriously at all. Where are you within the relationship now? I want the dogs to be either gone or trained. What do you mean so gone? You mean, you mean you've told me you want to put, I should put them down. I think it's a bit much for Denise to ask Mark to put his dogs down. Mark is no way going to put his dogs down, and I completely understand that. I think it's the only alternative to save us. I can't see another solution at all. This is real, and it's, it's taken a toll on us, and it's my life. We can't be together because of the dogs. But I can't put them down, Denise. You have to... There's no way that's happening. I'm not going to be able to live with myself. You're going to live with yourself when we break up? If I can't help the family get these dogs sorted out, they will split up. It's hard not to feel pressure when really you are somebody's last resort. I want the dogs to be either gone or trained. You've told me you want to put, I should put them down. I can't see another solution. I can't believe that Mark and Denise are living separate lives because of their dogs and that Denise wants the dogs to be put down. I have certainly got my work cut out for me here. You can't put these dogs down. There's got to be another solution. There has to be. Babe, the dog's not lovable, though. But I would be miserable for the rest of my life. I think that Mark continuously ignores the situation, and I don't think he takes me serious. I don't think he realizes my level of frustration. I want to go outside and see what the dogs are like out in the backyard. Sure. Can we okay. do that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Come on. Come on, Kobe. Denise's home is really small for two people, three dogs, and three cats. So I wanted to see how they utilized the amazing backyard that they have. Well, we're just going to wait. <coughs> how often does it happen when he's out here and he barks? Every time. Every time. Every time, because something will pass by, whether it's a truck, the pigeons, the dogs next door, a squirrel is bound to go by. So yes, every single time. Not every single time. Denise, come on. 
Do you think she exaggerates, Mark? Say it. Don't just say it behind her back. Yes. Say it. Yes. Well, he tells me all the time. That's one of our arguments. Definitely, she definitely is. Yeah. I feel like I have incidents to back up my anxiety. Babe, we've been out here now. Has the dog barked? No, there's nothing out here. Seventy percent right, of the time right there is, but not every single time. Seventy percent of the time. Yeah. It's as much as I would like to think that Mark realizes how bad he is. Unfortunately, he doesn't do anything about it. That's what no. dogs do. I mean. That's what dogs do. But you don't have to let them carry on for hours and hours and hours, even minutes and minutes and minutes. I really got the sense when the couple were discussing the issues that Mark is very lackadaisical about taking care of those issues. Come on, Pop. There's a lot of tension between Mark and Denise, so I wanted to get Mark out of the house and see how his dogs behave on a walk. Come on, boys. OK, so your neighbor's dog, don't let them get close. Easy, easy. Don't let them get close. Hey. Hey. Don't let them get close. Hey, hey, All right. hey, Casper. Casper's aggressiveness has really been going to another level. He's getting worse by the day. Could you just walk him away and see what he does? He backs away. Interesting. OK. Right, doesn't want to do it. Nice. Practices avoidance. Like it. This is good. When the dog came back, Casper took steps back. This isn't a dog that's nasty. This is a dog that essentially is very uncomfortable around other dogs. All right, he's scared. He's scared? He's scared. Really? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what all of this stuff is. He's scared. The reason why he's, he did that, it's a great defensive measure, get the other dog to go away, makes him feel good. But then when the dog came back again, he backed up. I never in a million years would think Casper afraid. No, he's too tough. And to actually find out that he's just putting up that facade because he's afraid, I couldn't believe it. I wanted to sit down and talk with Mark and Denise because I think Denise might be a little bit overreactive, plus the fact she doesn't really want to do anything or put any time into the dogs. Mark doesn't really do as much as he could with the dogs. And the couple need to really get over how they feel, meet in the middle and start working together. I wanted to talk to you before we begin the training. You're so polar opposites at the moment. Nothing is gonna work unless you sort of come together. And I think you need to listen to Denise a bit more. You do let the dogs get away with negative behavior that you could be jumping on quicker than you're doing. And Casper has had, as you said, over a dozen bites. Yes. That's serious. <laughs> it is completely irresponsible to allow your dog to bark in your backyard and bark and bark and bark and bark and, bark and not stop it. If I was your neighbor, we'd be having words. The last thing, because I feel like it's an unrealistic expectation to get him to put the dogs down. I know. He will resent you for the rest of his life if he does. And the fact is that if he did put them down, I think he'd split up anyway. I think that's why I never demanded it, because I knew that would happen. How could he not no. be resentful? If you guys want to be together, you both have to work to ensure the success so that you can live together in harmony with these animals, which is not going to be easy. With a little direction, I'll step up. To break up after all these years over dogs, it'd be ridiculous. We're this close, so I think now we're both going to have to put in the effort, and I think we will. Are we ready to work now? Very ready. Kay. Yes. Psyched. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it then. Thank you. Come on. I wanted to start the training off on neutral territory. Casper's really reactive on walks, so I'm hoping that if Denise sees Mark making more of an effort to train him, she's going to see more hope for the future. I wanted to bring him here because I really want to modify Casper's reaction when he sees another dog. I surprised you, I think, when I told you that Casper was actually scared. Yes. When you think about an aggressive person, 
Why do you think that person's aggressive? Insecure. Insecurity. Same for a dog. Because really, a secure dog is confident. Doesn't need to show aggression because it's just confident. Victoria did say that Casper lashes out when he's afraid, which it does make sense now that she pointed it out. It would have never occurred to me. OK, I'm going to take him here. Casper. I'm going to get his focus on me. Sit. Watch me. Good boy. If you train your dog whenever you say, watch me, to turn from anything they're doing to look at you, that's great. That's the kind of cue word that you have to build up. Great way to get focus. The watch me cue is really important. If you charge it up enough times, whenever you say, watch me, your dog will go from whatever it's doing and look straight in your eyes. So now we're going to have Ritza bring in Angus. Casper, no. All right. Casper. All right. Casper. Well, I don't think it's because he's being nasty towards another dog. I think it's just because he's insecure. Bring in Angus. Boy. Nice. I like the fact that he turns his head away. Instead of reacting, he's practicing avoidance. And you have to praise that. You have to mark that, OK? This training teaches Casper that he has choices. He can make the choice to turn away from the dog rather than have to greet the dog. And that makes him feel much more comfortable. I'm going to go a little bit closer. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Watch me. Good boy. Good boy. I was very much surprised that Casper wasn't more aggressive than what he was. He seemed to start to get used to the fact of another dog in his space. All right, I want you to come over here, and I want you to take over what I'm doing. OK. I don't want you to let Casper get close to Angus. No. All right, Rita, would you mind moving away and sure. coming back again? Angus. Good. Watch any kind of the way. Good. Nice. That's what I want him to do. That's perfect. By doing this, you're giving him confidence. That's what he needs, confidence. The more Casper gets rewarded around other dogs for calm behavior, the more he's going to associate other dogs with good things happening to him. Therefore, that's going to make him less reactive. Would you mind getting him up and walking around sure. as well? Let's go, Angus. This is one thing getting your dog to sort of sit whilst the other dog's going by, but I want you to be able to walk by another dog that's walking by. Nice praise, well very good. good so now I'd like you to take him. I was feeling very nervous and worried that maybe this wasn't going to work out. Anticipation was killing me. Go around the other way, good cross boy. each other's path. Good boy. Casper, good boy, come on. Good boy. Good boy, Casper. Casper, come on. Good boy. Good, good, nice. Boy. In the past, I've been afraid to walk Casper because of his behavior, but I think what Victoria taught us today, I could definitely have a handle on it. He is completely ignoring him. Yeah. Good boy, Casper. Good yeah, boy. Yeah, it was close. Good boy. I'm seeing some progress, but this is just the first step. Casper has a long history of reactivity, so it's going to take a while to change that behavior. Denise has three cats, and I'm worried about Casper's prey drive, so I want to manage the home environment to keep all the animals safe. If you look over to your left, you can observe that I put in a gate. Oh, awesome. That you could have put in a long <laughs> time ago. He's speechless. So, if you have two dogs behind this gate, it's better to have Casper and Finnegan rather than Casper and Kobe. Okay? 
because I don't want him getting frustrated and redirecting on Kobe. He's less likely to redirect on Finnegan. But this is going to also contain Finnegan, so he's not going to go, when he's unsupervised, into your room and pee. I am not suggesting that Casper is in here when the cats are here, because I think it's going to drive him nuts. The gate that Victoria introduced today, it's a huge relief in that it's going to solve so many problems if we follow through. I have a little oh, cat wow. tree. Oh, yeah. It's a cats. big treat. I gave Mark and Denise a cat treat so that the cats have a place to go when the dogs are around. If the cat's sitting here relaxing and Casper's here and something triggers him and he does go to attack, what's the best way to divert that or to stop him if he's in that mindset? I never let it happen. Manage your environment so it doesn't happen. We have to be in control. Yes. One day when he's feeling all peppy. Yes. There's always the potential for a, exactly. an outbreak. Yes. So that's where you cannot be complacent. Mm hmm Well. Ever. Ever. No, don't go mm, 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 to her. I she's know. right. I know she's right. But once in a while, you're right. Now, do you get the sense that Mark is going to be able to do this? Because I don't. I'm not very confident about his attitude. I really don't know why Denise gets so angry, gets so personal. I don't understand where this, um, where this negativity is coming from. Just your reaction, your nonchalance. I'm but still getting the, the sense that he's. That's he's not I... realizing the seriousness of it. The faith and trust Mark and I have for each other in this situation has definitely been altered. If he would just show me a little effort, which he doesn't really do and hasn't done in the past two years, a little effort would go a really long way with me. Do you know that I go through life nonchalant? Do you understand that? That's yeah, my personality. Yeah, but this is not a nonchalant issue, though. I understand, but no, you, you, don't. you don't expect me to, what do you expect me to do? Come it's on. A... Be serious for once. <laughs> That's what I want. I don't take many things serious. I really don't. I go through life as unserious as can possibly be. We are not doing this for fun. You understand that? I understand that. There's no room for joking and humor. <laughs> no, Zero. there's always room for that. Here's your alternative. A cat could die. Make your joke, babe. A dog could be severely injured. A person could be severely injured, and you could be in for a lawsuit. And you lose your fiance. So what do you choose? Because, yeah, maybe you do have that kind of sort of happy-go-lucky, but that's what put you in the apartment in the first place. Do you get the sense that Mark is going to be able to do this? Because I don't. I'm not very confident about his attitude. I don't understand where this negativity is coming from. You just ruined the whole day, Mark. That's what put you in the apartment in the first place. This nonchalance. Victoria gave me a hard time again. You know, I was uh, the brunt of Victoria's wrath. They ganged up on me a little bit, but I'd say that's what women do. They stick together. So no more jokes. I'm taking this serious, honestly. I want this to work as much as you do. I don't like sitting in my little cell over there. Prove us wrong. You could prove Denise completely wrong. We have to maintain the training. If he's lax, how are the dogs going to continue to get trained? And that's what I'm afraid of. I want to show you something here. There's a great sport called Earth Dog. Earth Dog is so good for so many things. To build confidence, for mental stimulation, and for physical exercise. It's specially designed for terriers mm -hmm. and for other small dogs. OK. And what happens is that the dog has to find its way through the tunnels to get to the reward. If you have a high energy dog, it's really important to make sure that you give that dog enough outlets with which it can expend its energy. Otherwise, all of that energy is gonna go on negative behavior. In order to get him to go into the tunnel, what I'm gonna do is just put a treat at the entrance of it. Here, here, get it. Good boy, good boy, good boy. And then I'm gonna throw Casper, in there. Casper, <laughs> go get him. <laughs> OK, I'll tell you what I'll do to make it a little easier. I'm going to remove this for a second so he can see light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, okay? good idea. Why don't you go at the other end of there okay. and call him through? Now call him. Come on, boy. Come in. Come over here. There it is, 
Man, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Good, good boy. boy. There it is. Good, good boy. boy. What you'll find in time is he goes through these tunnels no problem. Sure. He's not going to go through all of these things at the moment, but that's what you do. You break it down. Make it easy for him to go through one. Then when he's going through one, do another one, then do another one, and then put, you know, make it a little harder. That was actually pretty cool. And Victoria enlightened Denise and I. Remember, you have a reactive dog here. The more he solves problems, the less reactive he's going to be. I think it's going to be very useful for Casper because dogs need to be stimulated so they're happy. That's the perfect outlet for Casper. What a great idea. And I'm about to cry and I'm shaky. This is useless. I'm not doing it. Denise flew off the deep end last night. You left the dogs out there unattended. Victoria told you this morning, she just reminded you now, and they're out there 40 minutes by themselves. What is wrong with you? I was under the impression Casper and Finnegan were barricaded in the kitchen. Au contraire. Hey. Casper was out in the yard with Kobe, unattended, which was unbeknownst to me. Tell me what happened after I left you yesterday. The dogs were left unattended for over 40 minutes, so I came back and got really upset. Kobe was circling, trying to jump on me, and Casper was growling at him. Did you not listen when I said, don't ever leave the dogs unattended with each other? I heard you. <clears throat> I mean, it wasn't done intentionally. See, that's what worries me. What happens if you know, both dogs are out there and they get excited and then that excites Casper and he goes for Kobe. It was an honest mistake. But Denise takes everything to heart, like I'm trying to hurt her and I'm not. I just Yesterday... need you to be conscious of it. I understand, like, I feel but like... what I'm trying to say is once you get pissed at me, there's no talking to you. But you're like Casper when he's going crazy. You won't, you won't listen or hear anything. You don't want to hear nothing. All we want is to be together. And we're this close, and yet we're on the verge of, you know, breaking up again after 30 years. And it's, it's terrible. There are going to be times when he fails. There are going to be times when you fail. But I don't think you've got anything left in you to allow him to fail. Right, my faith has disappeared. His indifference to what he does, and he doesn't take responsibility for it. Saying I'm sorry doesn't rectify it, and doesn't make me feel comfortable that it's not going to happen again. That's where my frustration comes in, is that it is so easy. And his little effort that he has to put forth to make this all work is what really drives me crazy. But when you do get mad at me, you do you, you think can't... I get mad at you for no reason? But, but it stays it's not valid. It stays for a day, two days, three days over something stupid. Life is too short to stay but pissed. It's not off. stupid to her. That's but, her. That's your but, but attitude. But to keep it going? That's your Come attitude. On. Yeah, but if you if you change yourself and you show positive action, she's not gonna stay pissed at you. I won't even get mad. It's the past history that makes us stay mad. It's the past history. The frustration is definitely escalated beyond the dogs. This nonchalance about this situation when we're trying to rectify it and move on drives me nuts. What do you see as a way forward now? And how are you feeling right now? And what do you see? When all this is said and done, mm. in my heart, I don't think Denise is still going to go through with this. I don't think she's ever going to feel comfortable. I think she's completely pessimistic about this. And no matter what good things you bring from this, it's not going to be enough. It will be enough if you pull your weight. It will be more than enough. So there's just a, there's 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 no trust. I mean, if there's no trust, and you don't trust him, that he's going to make this work either. So so where do we go from here? Mark and Denise are childhood sweethearts. They found each other after being separated for thirty years. Now they can't move in together because of the dogs. I've seen some progress, but I'm just hoping that they can continue. There's no trust. I mean, if there's no trust, and you don't trust him, that he's going to make this work either. So, so where do we go from here? Babe, I'm not trying to blame you. I just want to get through to you so we can work together. Yeah, but it's, it's not going to be perfect. The only way it's going to work is if you step up to the plate and you help. You see them as your collective dogs and not just his dogs, and you take positive action and think ahead. Mm -hmm. The only way I can stop this animosity that's building up with them is to do some training. 
and hopefully put their heads in a different place. I think if they see success, that's going to give them confidence again. You say when people leave the home, they Casper nips at them. Doesn't nip that often. Let me tell you, Mark, so you're under no illusion. One nip is too many. Yes, I understand that. So we've got to stop him from doing that, because that's not a great behavior. Plus, you want your guests to be able to leave unscathed, unharmed. <coughs> We're going to have one of your neighbors come over, knock on the door. I want to see what he does, and then just follow what I do. Why don't you actually take a seat? Because if you take Both a of seat, us? that's more, yeah, that's more, more what normally happens. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, Patrick, go ahead. Do nothing. What I want you to do is I want you to get up and go into the kitchen. He's going to follow you. Then you come out of the kitchen and go answer the door. Ignore what he's doing. Hi, how you doing? Come on, Bubba. Good. Hi, oh, boy. Come on in. Hi, Pat. Hi, Hi Denise. How are you? Hi. Take a seat. Thank you. You do not let him out of there until he's quiet. You wait till he does that. Go and let him out. Totally and utterly ignore him. Ignore him. There you go. Now he's taken himself off. Now you have to get your guest safely out again. So I want you to call him okay. and I want you to start doing go finds. And I want you to throw the food kind of over there, over there, so that it's away from Patrick. OK. Casper, come here, boy. Come here. OK, good. <laughs> Sit. Playing the go find it game is going to be really, really effective because it takes Casper away from that angst that he feels when somebody leaves and redirects all of that anxiety onto something positive. Good boy. Patrick, start walking towards the door. Nice. Good. Go find. Good boy. Good. Work hard good to keep boy. his attention. Very good boy. Patrick, open the door. Sit. And Go exit. Find. No, wait a Casper. second. Stop. Good. Good. Bye. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. I think it's going to become natural for Mark and Denise to have guests come in now and just go through the ritual. It's going to be part of life. And Casper's going to be less anxious doesn't stress out, doesn't feel the need to bite. It's a win-win situation. Can I just see what he does when you leave this home? Sure. All right, baby. Bye, honey. All right. Casper is a pretty anxious dog, and I wanted to see what Casper would do when Mark went out the front door. Be good. Good boy. Ow. I could see that Casper was anxious when Mark left. This is a dog that's hyper-attached to his owner. All right, all right, I'm back. All right, we're back. A really good way to stop a dog from feeling that intense anxiety when somebody leaves is to redirect their behavior onto something positive. Because Casper's so food motivated, I wanted to use a toy that I put a little bit of food in to see whether he could focus on chewing the toy when Mark left. Say goodbye. All right, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. Bye, baby. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Right. I want to believe in my heart that this will work. Oh, that's fun. Oh, now let's see what you do. OK. Here you go. Good boy. It's something so simple. And it's things that I almost feel embarrassed we didn't think of on our own. Casper, come on. Denise was getting calmer when she saw, actually, that there are very simple solutions to these problems and how quickly they work. When you come in, Mark, no great big hellos. I want you to come through the door and just say hi, but that's it. Mm -hmm. If you leave and you give him loads of attention before you leave, that makes that parting even harder for him to bear. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to stick to that. Usually, when I come in, I just say, hello, friends. How are you? How's my buddies? And that's it. So I don't make a big deal as it is. So now, cutting it down even more won't, won't be an issue. How are you with each other right at this moment? Denise? I think Mark is totally capable of managing the animals. 
It's just a matter of, and this is where my fear will lie even when Victoria leaves, will he do it? There's just something there that makes him not take that extra step. Still a little hesitant about Mark's sustaining what you're giving us. How are you feeling, Mark? I, I'm optimistic about this could work. I'm pessimistic about Denise deep in her heart thinking that this is going to really work. So that's, that's what I worry about. We're making progress, but there's so much distrust between these two over all of these issues that I don't know if this is going to work. Mark and Denise have a great love story, but the dogs have been getting in the way of their relationship. So I wanted to give them some time to relax and take a break. Oh, thank some you. Some of my favorite chocolate so that you can take a break, sit back, relax, and eat. And this is a well-needed break. Kit Kat is my favorite chocolate on the planet. You gonna eat all that? Thank you. Yes, I am gonna eat it all. You put that down, that's mine. <laughs> Coming up. Get over the one little hiccup, OK? You have to work on it. You can't. That's either. ridiculous. I just don't understand why we have to go back to, to square one every time there's a mistake. Forget about the dogs. I don't even want you living here. Training that I have given Mark and Denise with Casper is simple. They've seen results. Now they've just got to do it for themselves. Where's the trust now? I have a lot of trust in Mark, because I think after seeing how easy this should be for us, that I do trust that he's going to implement everything and really make an effort. I do. That's a huge turnaround. Huge. Yes, it is. And it's for real. I feel really good about it. Are you going to invite Mark back into your home? Yes, I am. I think we should do a trial two-week training period maybe here and see how it goes. That's fair. And then hopefully at the end of two weeks, we'll be off to happily ever after. All right. So I'm going to go with Mark and Denise. It is do or die. Thank you so much. Thank you. The ball is in their court. I've done what I can, and I really hope they take everything I've given them and run with it. Oh. <laughs> when Victoria left, Mark and I continued the training. He went back and forth the first week and then moved in two days ago. Let's go. When I walk Casper, and if my neighbor Patrick is also out. We actually can, you know, have a conversation together and walk the dogs at the same time. That, that we could never do before. Casper, what do I have here? Wow. Good. Oh, my. What's in this? Bye. See you later, Patrick. Casper's doing so much better. I'm so glad that they kept up with the training. Sit. Sit. You know, the dogs are doing so well. But we're not. Hey, you're giving up too easy. Come on. I'm not giving up. Today. No, just yesterday. Yesterday you screwed up. Casper growls when you get too close to him, which is very unnerving to me. And yesterday, Mark ignored it. That just tells me that he's not on the same page as me. Get over the one little hiccup, OK? Got to move forward here. No. Nope. Can't. Can't what? You can't move forward. Why? Because you struck out two days. Should have been very easy to pay attention to the rules and Denise. do what we're supposed to be doing. This is not an easy thing. How are you going to be, a, mo easy, you gonna be a month from now if you're nonchalant already? So two days is your limit. Now it's, it's done. We can't. I didn't put a limit on it. You capped a limit by not doing the right thing. Denise. What? You have to work on it. You're just giving up after two days. That's retarded. Because I see how you That's gave ridiculous. up. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I just don't understand why we have to go back to, to square one every time there's a, uh, a mistake. So all this, two days. You're a trooper. If we mess up, I mess up. So what? White it out and just keep moving forward. You're the trooper. Two easy days and you're on trial and you still We got it. the rest of our life riding on, the, on two days. Yes. Denise, if you really want this, look how quickly you if blew you it. really want it, you'll you give it done some the right, time. You would have done the right thing. Denise. I would have given it all, all the right. time in the world if you participated. Right. I'm being trained on this too, you know. It's I'm not gonna be trained in perfect in freaking two days. Babe, you're the human. All right, whatever. Your actions proved it. I'm tired of trying to make this work. 
I would love to keep this trial period going, but I'm tired of arguing with her. Forget about the dogs. I don't even want you living here. You're such a, you like dealing with a child. It's over and I'm, I'm not even messing around with it anymore. I've had enough. I'll give it some shot. Baby, it's not about the three days. Denise. It's about what you put into it. Denise. What you didn't put into Denise. it. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.